Yeah. The only kids with like a really long braid. Um, it was a big part of the reason why I don't think I had a lot of confidence growing up. We kind of grew up um, in a household where having long hair was, it was just something that everyone had and it wasn't really something that we got to choose per se. It symbolizes spirituality and being connected to God and we're all part of a collective community. It's about that identity. I really started to think like, okay, so if I cut my hair, would that make me a bad sick? What would that even mean? And I think when you're like 10 years old, the subtle nuances don't really um, kick in. I was really struggling with this idea of good and bad sick and I felt like I should just choose a side, right? Like I should just keep my hair. There was something so freeing about it. I was simultaneously happy but also ashamed, like if I was hair the thing holding me back. But I think not having a choice was was a part of it and how much I really hated like the questions and like, you know, kids can be cruel. I think it took a long time, probably until I was in university, where I was able to reconcile myself with the fact that like my hair didn't have anything to do with how good or bad I was. It's based on my values. It doesn't mean you have to look a certain way or act a certain way. It's all about who you are on the inside.